It won't be easy and it won't be cheap, but Shreveport's Arts District is one step closer to creating its centerpiece. It will be the first outdoor community performance space that is big, happening every day. For years, this open area here behind Central Art Station has been known for its green space, but it's not quite the same type of green space leaders have in mind for it now. Plans for Caddo Common are impressive. This virtual bird's eye view gives a glimpse into the park's future, complete with a water wall, stage, gardens, and food truck court. People might have yoga in the park. They might sit out on their blankets and eat their lunch on a Friday afternoon. Project Director Wendy Binscotter laid out the park's plans Friday for leaders in the state's Division of the Arts. It provides that aesthetic value that is um, really important in a, in a community space. It's something that will attract people to come in. Transforming bits of broken concrete into a useful common area may seem like a boost to just these few acres. But those behind the project say it's exactly the type of move that long stagnant areas of downtown Shreveport like this one need. Putting these buildings back on the tax rolls, the taxes that these buildings then generate, it doesn't just stay in downtown. It goes throughout the city. But the project still needs $2 million in the bank to get it off the ground. And once we have the money that, that to build, that to start the construction, we're looking at maybe a nine-month turnaround on, on the uh, completion of the park. Now, Ben Scotter says 68% of millennials want a space like this one, a common area in their community, but there is a bit of a catch here in getting that money. Shreveport Common, which is now a nonprofit, has to raise $1 million in matching funds to meet $1 million pledged by the Caddo Commission back in May. And Jerry, they have just one year to do that in order to get that $1 million. So we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. Good luck to them on that. All right, Aaron, thank you.